we're excited that Rondo is part of our program and what he's going to continue to bring to the table in the next few years. That's my guy. took me down to Florida to see him and the, his personality being around him and his personality out on the floor were things that we were really, really excited about having him. Uh, Rondo brings to the table, man, uh, like people love being around him. And that's important when right? you're a leader of the team and you play the point of our position. People want to like to play with you. People like to play with Rondo. They like to be around him. He, he brings excitement to a room that he walks in and and that's a joy and a privilege to have in your program. Uh, on the other side of that, Rondo has benefited from the work ethic that, that he has and what we expect, it's been perfect for him. So he's really blossomed here in Buffalo. He's uh, doing great academically, socially he's blossoming. He, he's becoming a much better basketball player. And we're excited. We're excited that Rondo is a part of our program and what he's gonna to continue to bring to the table the next three years. What's up, man? What's up to the gang? Y'all know what's going on, man. Here with you with a couple questions, you know. Uh, the reason I wear number 10, uh, unfortunately, when I went, came to college, I wanted to wear number 5. But it was a player named CJ in front of me, senior leader, man. Really good person, really good guy, really good player. Uh, couldn't get that number, so I just took 10. Uh, and uh, and I find a lot of it, and I stuck with 10 ever since because 
uh, one of my best friends, Nas. He wore 10 in high school, and uh, he wore 5 in college, so I wore 10. And then we kind of switch, switch. Uh, another question uh, that you guys been wanting to hear is, uh, my game have changed a lot, as you can see, uh, for the people that's watching from high school to college. Uh, I felt like my game has matured in a lot of different areas, uh, not only offensive-wise, but defensively. I'm getting smarter, stronger, quicker on where to be, uh, what to do in certain situations. And offensively, I feel like my game just um, making the game simple, not doing a lot, not dribbling a lot, as you've seen in high school, uh, trying to simplify simplify the game as much as possible uh, and I feel like my game has grown a lot, matured, uh, like I said again, uh, going in the right direction. Some of the hardest things I have to deal with in the game would probably be my emotions. Sometimes I'd be too geeked up, you know, be too fired up, I'd be too, you know, geeked up, you know, crunk. As you can say, sometimes I have to uh, keep at a uh, level-headed uh, pace, you can say, and uh, never like get too high, never get too low. Uh, so I feel like sometimes that's part of emotions, just staying too geek sometimes. Sometimes I gotta just you know even kill. I feel like that's a challenge for me. Other than that, I feel like everything else is mental. No. Uh, next question. What keeps your energy going? Uh, so just, just trying to win. I feel like that's what keep my energy going. Trying to win the game, uh, help my teammates out, you know, and uh, that's what keep me going. That's what keep my energy high and not taking a lot, of, not taking possessions off. Uh, the mental side, how I develop. I feel like my mental have grown a lot. Uh, as one of the changes from uh, high school to college, uh, my mental health changed a lot. I feel like it got stronger. Uh, high school, sometimes I get mad at myself, you know, get down on myself a lot of times. But I feel like in college, I'm stronger minded, you know, level headed now. Not too geek, not too high, not too low. I feel like, and the only the way I developed that was just uh, mental reps uh, in college. It, you like when you get to this point uh sometimes coaches put you in uh positions and you have to adapt you have to just as a point guard you have to be the strongest person on the uh, court because you're the head of the snake you know what i mean you're a reflection of the coach so uh you have to be even you have to be poised you have to be composed and uh i feel like that helped me a lot uh, just being the point guard and practice going against uh tough point guards like Devonte, dante all the guys from last year, including this year, I feel like want to get those mental reps and watching film a lot. That's very key. I feel like that's a lack that a lot of people don't do. So watching film helped me a lot with my mental, knowing what I should be doing, where I should be at, where other players should be at, and uh, stuff like that. And that's about it.
Number 10, uh, first, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> sir, can you hear up, please, sir? <laughs> Yo, everybody want that song that y'all was singing in, that y'all was singing to. For real? Yeah, everybody keep asking about it. I told them, boys. I'm the. I told them. I'm really the producer. I run the shit. I run both of them. Boys. I told them what's fire and what's. I told them that song was hit. Yeah, I'm the producer, man. Anything go, we gotta go to me first. Bro. The music is fire. But unfortunately, my dude is turning into the street. You might as well just tell the documentary that. Announce yourself, you know. I mean, you stay there. So they know they can follow you in the record. Fuck, man. Can they see me? I'm a girl. Stick your ears filthy, bro. You're a light skinned man, for real. You're not there, bro. What? You're a light skinned man. Huh? Your license is new. Are you making it? No, it isn't your license. You wanna drive? You good? Huh? Alright, can you please get out your feelings, bro? Huh? Can you get out your feelings? Huh, oh, man, I got APS, man. Alright, whenever you're ready. Alright. Let's go.